with Margate manager Jay Saunders. So first of all, um, after the first half being nil-nil, you maybe would have wanted a bit more out of that game. Um, listen, I, I thought I think Worthing, or I know Worthing are our best side in the league, and, and they, um, I thought they deserved the three points today. First half, we uh, we limited them. To, to chances without really creating enough ourselves. We had a few circumstances that, that have changed things for kickoff and that, so we didn't come here as you'd like. I think when you play teams at the top, you want to come here full strength. But Adam's got a really good side. Um, and uh, no, look, on the second half performance alone, you'd say they deserved it. Um, but like I say, I would have liked to have come here full strength and, and, and had a go. But um, it, it is what it is. We've been on an unbelievable 10 game run, and unfortunately, we come to the team that are going to win the league. and and we've just come up short. And um, obviously I have to ask about the red card, any thoughts on that situation there? Um, I'd have to see it again, I, I think it's harsh. I, one thing I would say, I think the ref spoiled the game a little bit today. I don't think he gave us a lot, there was a lot of decisions that if they were 50-50 went the other way. Uh, I don't whether that was a crowd, he felt the pressure, I don't know. But he said Swifties run over and grabbed him around the throat. I, I didn't see it like that and I don't think a lot of people did. But. Uh, yeah, I think it was a bit silly. It was handbags. They were both sort of had hold of each other. I think, if anything, it's a yellow card for each. But uh, he's, he's obviously seen something. He just said to us, if I've got it wrong, I apologise. But unfortunately, this level, I don't think we get a chance to, to look back on things and change that. So if we, uh, we've lost Swifty, um, it's a big blow to us. And um, any news on the lads that are still injured with 90 and Ando? Yeah. Um, I think night is going to be in a little while longer. Ando's got an outside chance of being involved Tuesday. I realistically think it's next Saturday. Um, we lost Harrison during the warm-up who's been ill. We had Bessie ill. Um, we had probably three players playing today who weren't able to train Thursday night. So we're, we're up against it at the moment. Um, you're working with a small squad and I think you only had to look at the bench today. Uh, we're working with a small squad and we're trying to nurse everyone. But <laughs> The thing is, when you go through in these cups, you're Saturday, Tuesday, and I think we're Saturday, Tuesday now for a, for another few weeks, and it takes its toll. Um, and, I, and that's what I thought. I just said to lads in there, you could see some of them weren't at 100%, and that's that's you need to be when you're up against a good side that are up there. So all we can do is um, is try and prepare them right now for another tough game Tuesday night. Uh, we'll keep trying if we can bring one or two into bolster the squad, we will. But if not, then again, I'll speak to Lammy and we'll pull in the lights we did Alex Johnson today, although he didn't get on. Um, We'll, we'll, we'll look at pulling some of the 23s in. Unfortunately, even that, um, Josh Oliver come on, done really well the other night, but wasn't available for today's game. Sean and Ketty wasn't available. So we're kind of, um, yeah, we, we were very short. But I don't want to make excuses. I say we're on a very good side. Adam's got a good side and they'll deservedly win the league at the end of the season, I'm sure. And um, it's like you said on Tuesday, obviously, for a game like this, you really would have wanted to show up with full strength, everyone ready to go. Uh, it seems like every time you get two players back from injury, you lose another two for something else. It's probably a little bit frustrating at this point. You've got to remember, I think we've had two, three years, whatever it is, of the COVID thing, and we've lost a lot of a lot of football. So all of a sudden, players, this is their first full season. And I think the training once a week, I think the boys, they find it hard. It, it's, it's a lot of going when you're Tuesday, Saturday, it's, it's hard for them. So you're going to expect to get the knocks and that and some of the older ones haven't done a full season for a little while so it's difficult um, but like I say I, I don't want to put too much of that I just said to the boys in there stay positive we've, we've come to league leaders who will end up winning it we've come up short today with a patched up squad um, but we've been 10 unbeaten I don't want to take away we're still in two cup semi-final uh, two cups um, and, and, and if we like, fall up short in playoffs which I think we will probably then we want to finish sixth so that, that's our goal. So I said to the boys in there, there's plenty to play for. What we'll have to do Tuesday is look at things and some of the boys, the likes of Finn, will probably need to start. I, I think there'll be some of the ones that play today will struggle Tuesday, but they're not bad players we're bringing in. It's just, um, like I say, we, we, we need to get everyone out there as best we can and pick a side that will go and do a job Tuesday night against the Potter's bar side that are on a good little run. OK, yeah, thank you. Love Cheers. It. Cheers, Tom.